This year at Can-Am, it became obvious to me that many participants and judges don't fully understand what apes is showing on the TVs. So this video is intended to show what apes will look like when configured for a typical tournament and how that differs on when we configure for for the championship race at uh, championship races at Can-Am where we're going to use it to judge spitballs. First, let's just look at what the display looks like at the end of a typical of a clean heat. Um, be three passes. We uh, dog twos pass, dog threes pass, and the anchor dogs pass, dog fours passes, as well as their split times shown at the top of the screen. The start dog also has a time. It's at the bottom of the screen. This is the start dog, as well as the start time. And finally, we'll have a tee time uh, at the bottom. The team time as well as win, loss, or DNF are output from the EGS itself. They'll be accurate for clean heat. They'll be accurate if the only flags were bad passes. But of course, if a flag is due to something EGS can't know about, like missing a jump or returning without a ball, then this can be inaccurate and because uh, it, it doesn't know that the, there was the, that the heat wasn't completed because the flag couldn't be observed. Now let's, let's look at how this gets generated on the fly. We're going to simulate a heat. So first dog breaks the beam, and then dog one returns, we see dog two's pass. Dog two returns, we see dog's three pass. Dog three returns, we see anchor dog pass. And then the anchor dog return, there's no pass to see, so we just stack them to get them up there just as fast as possible so that participants can start observing them uh, in preparation for, for the next heat. At some point, the uh, the splits will come in. If, well, they come in when the judge ends the heat with the with the button, and those will get overlaid and we're back to the screen that we, we start out with. Uh, sometimes the heat, if the splits come before the timeout, then it looks the same. They just see for temporary. You'll see the you won't see that ready for new heat. Now let's do the same thing with uh, configure for championship mode. Go in here, set up event. We're going to say Can Am Championship mode. And then we're going to redo the simulation. In fact, it's the same exact dogs running again. Start dog going out. Start dog returning. Dog two returning. Dog three returning. And now here's what's different. Dog four returns. Normally we'd stack then, but this time since we're going to call the spit ball, we show that returning dog, not for a pass, because there isn't one, but just to judge it. This time it timed out, it stacked, it would have also stacked if the splits came in before the timeout, and the splits now will superimpose, just like we did before, except we just have this extra image on the right that was the anchor dog return.